Hi guys, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, term symbols in complex compounds. Term symbols in complex compounds. So generally term symbols are uh, very highly probable questions uh, from the either CSAR exam or GATE exam. It is a very weightageable topic. Okay. So term symbols which is nothing but uh, so if P2 configuration is there it having the different different energy levels okay so the energy level representation of a term is called a term symbol okay any one of the energy level so p2 having the 15 energies that is nothing but microstates okay so 15 energies uh, we are already uh, calculated these microstate in our previous lecture okay so now here p2 having the 15 so one of the energy level is nothing but 3p another one d one s okay so these are the possible terms okay which are represented certain energy levels which are represented certain energy levels those are called term symbols those are called term symbols okay how it is fine how they are asked questions from either csir or gate now let us go to the detail in detail okay so the general representation of term general representation so, which is nothing but 2s plus 1 lj. 2s plus 1 lj. So, the total term is called term symbol. Total term is called term symbol. Okay. Now, however, 2s plus 1 l is called term. It's not a term symbol. Okay. So, it is the possible term. Okay. Here, it is the total term symbol. Total term symbol. So, the total term symbol here different energy levels are there so the lowest energy level the bottom most lowest energy level is called ground term symbol ground term symbol okay so this is called ground term symbol how it is identified the ground term symbol from the electronic configurations are complex compounds are complexes of complex compounds now generally term symbols was identified from the electronic configuration or complexes of a complex compounds complex ions of a complex compounds so generally 2s plus 1 lj is called a ground term symbol okay here 2s plus 1 indicates spin multiplicity spin multiplicity here s is equal to spin of the electron spin of the electron Okay, here 2s plus 1 is equal to 0, then it is uh, uh, nothing. Uh, that means here 0 never comes. 2s plus 1 is equal to single, then it is called a singlet of the spin. Now if it is 2 doublet, like it is 3, then a triplet. So these are the values of a spin multiplicity. These are the values of spin multiplicity. Now, here, this is the L, L values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. Okay. So here the symbol for 0 is equal to S, 1, P, 2, D, 3, F, 4, G, 5, H, 6, I. Here J is omitted. Okay. After the 7, not J. I, I, next 7 is K. Next 7 is K. In this series, J is omitted. Note that point. J is omitted. J, J cannot be used in the uh, term symbol j cannot be used in the term symbol so this l value will came from the magnitude of the orbital electrons magnitude of the electrons present in the orbitals present in the orbitals so those magnitude can be calculated like this okay we know that uh, s orbital the magnitude value m l is equal to 0 p orbital m l is equal to 0 comma plus or minus 1 d orbital m l value 0 comma plus or minus 1 comma plus or minus 2 ML value 0 comma plus or minus 1 comma plus or minus 2 comma plus or minus 3. Okay. Now here this value is 0. Here 0 plus 1 minus 1 for P orbital. Here 0 plus 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 for D orbital. Okay. Now 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3. This is for the f orbital. This is for the f orbital. Now the summation of uh, total electrons magnitude uh, magnitude value, which is nothing but L. Okay. Here, for example, if one electron is there, 
that one electron magnitude L value is nothing but our L. Okay, if two electrons are there, the summation of uh, these ML values, these ML values is, is nothing but L. If L is equal to zero, then symbol is capital S, 1, P, 2, D, 3, F, 4, G, 5, H, 6, I. Okay, now let us go through the J value. Okay, J value, J is equal to total angular momentum, total spin orbital angular momentum quantum number, total angular moment quantum number. Total angular momentum quantum number. So now the J or the possible values from L plus S to L minus S. These are the possible values. Okay. Here L plus S for more than half a filled configuration. More than half a filled configuration. So L minus S for less than half a filled configuration. Less than half a filled configuration. Oh, here the several types of J values are possible. If L is greater than S, so the number of possible J values, the number of possible J values is equal to J into J is equal to 2S into plus 1. 2S into plus 1. Here the number of possible J values whenever L is greater than that of the S value. L is greater than that of the S value. If J is equal to exact j is equal to exactly half of the configuration exactly half of the configuration okay so whenever d5 configuration or p3 configuration f7 configuration then j having the only one value j having the only one value note this point Whenever it having the exact equal configuration, then only one J value are possible. Otherwise, so many J values are possible. So those J values, those J values lies between, J values lies between L plus S to L minus S. L plus S to L minus S. So how many J values are possible? We will discuss it later. Okay. Now we will go through the uh, explanation about uh, electronic configuration ground term symbol okay very easier topic note this po every point uh, clearly okay the first one p1 term okay we don't know the uh, electronic uh, ground term symbol of a p1 now let us go through the ground term symbol ground term symbol rule first one find the l value with other very easy rules find the l value with the help of ml with the help of ml now the second one find the multiplicity find the multiplicity then third value find the j value if j is equal to l plus s more than half filled j is equal to l minus s Less than half filled, less than half filled. So then combine all those terms in a single representation. Then it is called ground term symbol. Now let us go through the P1 configuration. Okay, first of all, our goal is find the L value. Now here only one electron. That means one electron magnitude value is plus one, zero. Okay, here L is equal to plus one into one. So that means here the value is equal to only one. So if L is equal to one, now the symbols I will write here. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, S, P, D, F, G, H, and so on. Now here L is equal to 1 means that the term is P. The term is P. Now the second one, find the multiplicity. So here 2S plus 1 is equal to multiplicity. S is equal to N by 2. S is equal to N by 2. 2 into N by 2 plus 1. Here 2, 2 cancel. N plus 1. So here S is equal to spin of the electron. N is equal to number of unpaid electrons. Number of 
unpaired electrons okay number of unpaired electrons are very easier calculation for the uh, simplest way of uh, problem solving machine okay now here n is equal to only one electron that means uh, spin multiplicity is equal to <coughs> n plus 1 that means 1 plus 1 here it is a doublet now the term is represented like a p 2p that is nothing but a 2p now the third one is j value so here less than half a filled configuration is there half a filled means 1 1 1 electron fill filled in complete uh, throughout the orbitals throughout the orbitals now here two orbitals are vacant one orbital is only there that's why we are less than that means l minus s okay here l minus s l value is equal to 1 minus s value is nothing but upward direction plus half downward direction minus half okay now here half so 1 minus half is nothing but half now here i will write the complete symbol over there so this is the ground term symbol for p1 configuration the ground term symbol for p1 configuration now we'll go through the different different electronic systems P2 configuration. Now, uh, I'll move fastly. Okay. Now, A is L value. Here, two electrons. L is equal to 1 into plus 1, 1 into 0. Here, plus 1, here, 0. That means 1 plus 0, we will get the value 1. So, now, term is P. Second one, spin multiplicity, N plus 1. Here, two unpaired electrons are there. 2 plus 1, 3. Now, the probability is 3P. Then C is equal to L minus S. J is equal to L minus S. Here L value is equal to 1. Here 2 unpaid electrons are there. S yes, means unpaid electrons. Half plus half is nothing but 1. So 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Now the term symbol for the P2 configuration is 3P0. Now let us go through the P3 configuration. 1 unpaid, 1 unpaid. Plus 1, 0 minus 1. Here L is equal to 1 into plus 1, 1 into 0, plus 1 into minus 1. Here, plus 1, 0, minus 1. So, plus 1, minus 1 cancel. Yes, 0 is equal to the symbol is yes. Now, B is 3 unpaid electrons are there. N plus 1, 3 plus 1 is nothing but 4. Here, yes, 4, yes, 4, yes. C is equal to J is equal to L plus yes or L minus S. Why? Because L is equal to 0, there is no problem. So, 0 here spin is 3 by 2 that means 4 s 3 by 2 4 s 3 by 2 so the remaining terms p4 p5 p6 let us calculate for practice okay i will left out those those configurations for your practice now we'll go through the d configurations go through the d configurations now here D1 configuration. 1 that means here plus 2 plus 1 0 minus 1 minus 2. L is equal to 2 then term is equal to D. Term is equal to D. Then spin multiplicity is equal to 1 plus 1 2. That means 2D. That means 2D. J is equal to L minus S. J is equal to L minus S. Here L is equal to 2 minus S means half. 2 minus half. So for non-math students I will give the hint. So that means LCM is 2, 2 2 is 4, 4 minus 1, 3, 3 by 2. So this is the term symbol for D1 configuration. This is the term symbol for D1 configuration. Next, D2 configuration. 1, 2. Here L is equal to 1, 1 into plus 2, plus 1 into plus 1. That means 3. L is equal to 3, then the term is F. Then term is F. Spin multiplicity is equal to 2 plus 1, 3. Multiplicity is equal to 3, then term is 3f. Now the j value is equal to l minus s, that means 3 minus 2, 2 unpaired electrons half plus half 1. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Now the term is equal to 3f2. 3f2. Now let us go through the d3 configuration. 1, 2, 3. l is equal to 1 into plus 2 plus 1 into plus 1 plus 1 into 0, that means 3. Here the term is f. Okay, now yeah, multiplicity is equal to 3 unpaid electrons, 3 plus 1, 4. Now the term is 4F. J is equal to L minus S. L is equal to 3 minus S is equal to 3 of 0, 3 by 2. 3, 3 into half, 3 by 2. That means here 
LCM is a 2, 6 minus 3, that means 3 by 2. Now the term symbol is equal to 4F3 by 2 for a D3 configuration. For D3 configuration. Now we'll go through the D4 configuration. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here L is equal to 1 into plus 2 plus 1 into plus 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1. The total L value is equal to 2 plus 1 plus 0 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 cancel 2. So then 2 for the value is some term is a D. Then spin multiplicity 4 unpaired electrons 4 plus 1 5. The term is 5D. Term is 5D. Then L is equal to J is equal to L minus S. L value is equal to 2. S means half of the electron. Now here 4 of the electrons. 4 into half that means 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Now 5D is 0. Now the value is 5D is 0. Now we will go through the another examples. D5, D6. D5. All our electrons. So now such a case is so here plus 2 here minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 0. So all the values are cancelled then L value is equal to 0. L is equal to 0 then symbol is yes. Okay then multiplicity is equal to all our unpaid electrons 5 plus 1 6. Then the term is 6 s yes. then the term is 6 s. Yes. Now the J value is equal to L plus s. Yes. Why because here L is equal to 0. 0 plus S yes means 5 unpaid electrons, 5 unpaid electrons means 5 into 1 by 2, that means 5 by 2. So the value for J is equal to 5 by 2. The total term is equal to 6S5 yes, by 2. 6S5 yes, by 2. Now D6 configuration. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So sixth one. Okay, so here 2 plus 2, sir. 2 into plus 2 plus 1 into plus 1 plus 1 into 0 plus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 into minus 2 that means 4 plus 1 plus 0 minus 1 minus 2 so here 4 plus 1 5, 5 minus 3 that means 2 okay it is another way of the uh, simple calculation so here plus 2 minus 2 cancel plus 1 minus 1 cancel 0 automatically so the remaining electron which placed in the plus 2 that means it is equal to the 2 another way it is very easier so if 2 is that nothing but the term is uh, d if the value is 2 that is nothing but a term is d here if only 4 unpaid electrons are there 4 plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to 5 so now the term is 5 d J is equal to, it is more than upward, that's why we will go through the L plus S formula. L plus, yes, here L value is equal to 2, plus S value is equal to 4 unpaid electrons. So, 4 unpaid electrons means 4 into half, that means 2. 2 plus 2 is nothing but 4. 5D4 is our electronic curve. 5D4 is the term symbol of a D6 configuration. Term symbol of a D6 configuration. Okay, now the D7 configuration, D7 configuration, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that means uh, remaining 5 electrons upward, 5 electrons are cancelled, here 2 plus 1 means 3, L is equal to 3, then term is equal to F, term is equal to F, then spin multiplicity is equal to the number of unpaired electrons of 3 only, 3 plus 1 means 4. The term is 4F. The term is 4F. Then J is equal to L plus S. Here L is equal to 3 plus S is equal to 3 into F. That means 3 by 2. Here 9 by 2. Here 9 by 2. The L, uh, LCM value will give the 9 by 2. Now the term is equal to 4F 9 by 2. So this is the ground state calculations only. Not the possible terms. I will explain the all possible terms in next video. Okay. Now here D8 configuration. 1 electron, 2 electron, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here, that means here 2 electrons only possible. Then here L value also 3 only. Okay. Now, if, uh, if there is any doubt, please calculate it. Uh, it is L is equal to definitely 3 only. Okay. L is equal to 3 means a term is F. Here 2 unpaid electrons are there. N is equal to 2 plus 1. That means 3. 3F. That means 3F. Then J is equal to L plus S. Here L is equal to 3 plus S means 2 unpaid electrons 1. That means 4. So the term is 3F4. The ground term is TF4. Now here D9 configuration. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that means here this one, this one also cancel L is equal to 2. Then the term is uh, L is equal to 2 means here the term is D. The term is D. Now we will get the spin multiplicity n plus 1 is equal to 2. Only one unpaired electrons, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then term is 2D. Now here J is equal to L plus S. Here L is equal to 2 plus S is equal to half. That means 5 by 2. 2D, 5 by 2 is the term symbol. Next one, D10. This is the final one. Final one of the electronic configurations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All are cancelled. L is equal to 0. L is equal to 0. Then there is no unpaid electron. N plus 1 is equal to 1. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Next, J is equal to L plus S. That means 0 plus 1. Here, 0 plus uh, spin is 0. 0 plus 0, 0. Then L is equal to term S. Here, multiplicity is yes. Then J value is equal to 0. So, these are the terms. Uh, ground term symbols for the electronic configuration. Now let us go through the F electronic configurations. I will explain one or two F electronic systems. Just one or two only. Okay. Now here the cerium plus three configuration. Cerium plus three configuration is F1. Okay. So now F means uh, here zero plus one plus two plus three. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now we have only one electron. L is equal to 3. That means the term is 3. Third, 3 value is equal to F. Now here 1 unpaid electron. 1 plus 1, 2. So J is equal to L minus S or L plus S. Here less than half filled. That's why here L minus S only. L minus S only. Now here L minus S is nothing but uh, L is equal to 3. Minus S is nothing but half. That means uh, 5 minus 1 by 2. Sorry. 6 minus 1. 1 by 2 that means 5 by 2 so this is the term symbol of cerium plus 3 term symbol of cerium plus 3 now gadolonium plus 3 that means f7 gadolonium plus 3 that means f7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay here all are cancelled together l is equal to 0 then term is yes okay so here all are unpaired electron that's why n plus 1 is equal to 7 plus 1 8 so here L is equal, J is equal to L plus S. So L is equal to 0. S is equal to 7. 7 by 2. 7 into half. 7 by 2. Now we will get the 8, 7 by 2 as ground term symbol. So whenever any electronic configuration is given. The, so these are the possible calculation of the ground term symbol. Or identification of the ground term symbol. Now the second part. Identification of the ground term symbols for complexes. For complexes, let us go through the complex. Like a vanadium H two O six times plus three plus two. That means a D three configuration. That means a D three configuration. Whenever complexes are given, now here we follow the uh, just the three rules. So one is sketch the D splitting based on their uh, ligand nature. Now calculate the ML value. Calculate the ML value, then calculate the spin uh, multiplicity. So calculate the J value. So these three are common. The uh, the first one is different. Okay, first one is different. Now here, when adm H two O six times plus two means D three configuration. So these splittings are weak field splitting. So in after hydrogen environment, one, two, three. Only three electrons, three are possible. Now here plus two plus one zero. Here L is equal to three. Then the term is F. The term is F. Here three unpaired electrons are there. Three plus one four. Now here J is equal to L minus S. L is equal to three minus S is equal to three by two. That means six minus three by two. Three by two. Here the term is equal to three by two. We already discussed, but they are given in the in the form of complexes. That's why uh, uh, somebody's are uh, like uh, it it feel to another another topic for our syllabus. This is not our topic. Okay, so uh, that is wrong. Uh, that is wrong assumption. Okay, now we'll go through the another example. Ni H two O six times plus two. That means here D eight configuration. Okay, D eight configuration. One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here, these three values, L is equal to 3, 
so n uh, number of multiplicity n plus 1 is equal to 3 okay l is equal to 3 then f the term is f so here the term is 3 of uh, here the term is 4 f 3 by 2 4 f 3 by 2 now j is equal to l plus s here 3 plus uh, 2 of the 1 that means 4 3 f 4 this is the ground term symbol for the nickel h2o 6 times plus 2 complex let us go through the some of the strong field complexes strong field complexes now here 2017 gate question chromium cn 6 times minus 4 <coughs> excuse me chromium cn 6 minus 4 that means here chromium oxidation state is plus 2 so uh, plus 2 that means d4 electronic configuration d4 electronic configuration now the splitting is like this here 1 2 3 so now the fourth electron cannot jump up to the easy level due to the strong field nature of the ligand so now the fourth electron over here okay now if, if it is they are given in the complexes like this so d4 configuration d4 means uh, we know that we are very experts in ground term symbols that's why 1 2 3 4 like uh, l is equal to 2 plus 1 here these two are cancelled l is equal to 2 then term is d so now here four unpaid electrons are there phi d okay l minus s here l is equal to 2 minus s is equal to 2 2 minus 2 0 okay now if you like to if you solve the problem like this we will lose the marks in gate okay so the gate is conceptualization questions are came okay so in gate they are given in the conceptualization questions now here in case of strong field ligands here the splitting energy gap is more the splitting energy gap is more that's why the fifth, uh, fourth electron cannot enter into the easy level the fourth electron can paired up takes place that means here plus two plus one zero l is equal to two into plus two plus one into plus one plus one into zero now here four plus one is equal to five okay the five value is equal to h the term is h okay, now here only two unpaired electrons two plus one three j is equal to l minus s j is equal to l minus s l is equal to five minus s is equal to two unpaired electrons are one it, it is a four so h 3 4 so they are given in the just 3 h only okay they are asked in the get 2017 either 3 h or 5 d it is also it is also there in our options okay now we'll go through the option this and now we'll get we'll ask the marks okay so in get uh, the, definitely they are given in the conceptualization questions okay now we'll go through the some of the uh, previous year csir and get problems before going to the these problems uh, now we are discussing about uh, i identification of a uh, term symbols term symbols for mixed configurations mixed configuration now let us go through the d5 s1 configuration so d5 s1 so here it is a d5 in the aqueous complex that means it is weak field ligand high spin complexes which is nothing but high spin complexes 1 2 3 4 5 here one is s1 okay now here all are cancelled to each other that means here d5 configuration plus 2 minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 0 everything is cancelled now here s value 0 here l, here l value 0 here l value 0 total l is equal to 0 then term is yes okay now the second one spin multiplicity 6 unpaid electrons are there 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 multiplicity is 7 okay now the j value is equal to l minus s here l is equal to 0 okay all are half affiliate that's why l plus s l is equal to zero then here number of unpaid uh, sorry uh, seven orbitals are there seven by two that means a seven by two so this is the term this is the term of ground term symbol of uh, mixed configuration now we'll solve the some of the problems which are given in the previous year csir as well as uh, previous year csir gate now we solve the some of the previous year questions which is given in 2018 June, 2016 December, 2015 June, 2000 like uh, 2015 June I think it is also 2015 June around this is 2017 uh, gate 2017 gate. Now the first one is 1s2, 1s1, 2s1 electronic configuration ground term symbol. Now here 1s2 s all are s orbital that means here l is equal to 0 plus 0 that means 0 the term is s. Now here spin multiplicity is equal to 
2 plus 1 that means 3 here the term is a 3 s 3 s okay now here the j value is equal to l plus s l is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 that means 1 so now here the term symbol is a 3 s 1 term symbol is a 3 s 1 option c is correct option c is correct now and the next one is a spectroscopic ground term symbol of Mn2, Mn plus 2 in aqua solution that means high spin complexes. So Mn plus 2 means a D5 configuration. D5 means here it is weak field. Whenever it is complexes, uh, we will split the D terms like, like this. Both are same in case of a weak field ligands. In case of a weak field ligands. All are 0. L is equal to 0. Then yes, uh, number of unpaid electrons are 6. Number of unpaid electrons that means N plus 1 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Uh, now here the multiplicity is equal to 6. Now here J is equal to L plus S. L is equal to 0. S is equal to 5 into half 5 by 2. Now here the term is 5 by 2. 6 S yes, 5 by 2. Okay. They are asking about only term not the term symbol. Okay. Now we solve the just term only. This is the MN2. Next one is chromium 3. Chromium 3 means D3 configuration. Here it is also weak field, weak field again. 1, 2, 3. Here 2 plus 1, 0. That means the term is E of 3 unpaid electrons are there. 3 plus 1, 4. Now the copper plus 2. That is a D9 configuration. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here only one, one is that. L is equal to 2. Then term is D. 1 unpaid. That means 1 plus 1, 2. Now 6S, 4F, 2D. 6S, 4F, 2D. Option B. Option B is correct. Now we will go through the third problem. Now we'll go through the third problem, which is uh, the lowest energy state of uh, NS1, NP1, NS1, NP1, which is similar to the first problem. Okay, here NS is one electron, NP is one electron, one, one. Here L value is equal to zero plus one, that means one, the term is P. Here two unpaid electrons are there, N plus one is equal to two plus one is three, the term multiplicity is equal to three. Now J value is equal to L minus S, L is equal to one minus S is equal to one. That means 0. So 3p0 is correct answer. 3p0 is correct answer. D is correct. Now the fourth one is. Fourth one is a lowest term symbol of D6 configuration. So here D6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here L is equal to 2. Term is D. Number of unpaid electrons and N plus 1 is equal to 4 plus 1, 5. So the term is 5D. The term is 5D. Option C, B is correct. Now the final one is a 2017 gate. So which are already discussed in our video. So that is chromium CN6 uh, minus 4. That means chromium plus 2. Here D4 configuration. Configuration is D4. Here the strong field again. That's why fourth electron cannot enter into the EG orbital. The fourth electron can pay it up. Now here 2, two electrons plus 2. 1 electron plus 1 plus 1 into 0. That means 2, 2, 0, 4 plus 1, 5. So the 5 means the term is H. 5 means the term is H. Here 2 unpaired electrons. 2 plus 1, 3. Term is 3 H. 3 H is there. Here it is the option number B. Okay. These are the problems which are given in the previous year. CSAR as well as GATE. Now I would like to make the video on the ground term symbols. Uh, number of uh, possibilities of ground term symbols. In case of D2 configuration it is 45. How they are possible? Among the 45 which is ground term symbol. How to calculate the ground term symbol by using the Hunsra. I will make the video within very soon. Okay. Thank you for watching.